So, do you want to mind saying your name? No, my, no. You let me know when I can do it. You go ahead. My name's Scott Stark. Scott, and you've been binning for a number of years now? Or? Year and a half. Year and a half? In Victoria? Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and you're telling me that the Bottle Depot is going to be disappearing? Yeah, in about a year. About a year? And Jason Indians, and I've been doing it for seven years now. Seven years? Wow. And so, does that, you can survive doing that? Oh yeah. Yeah? Well, I, I live outside, so. Wow. For seven years? Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, and, and so they've sold, they've actually sold the property then. Is that right? Apparently. That's what I so hear. That's what they say? Yeah. And they're going to build condos? Is yeah. the plan? That's what we need, more condos? Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And because I wonder, because they were doing all this road construction here, do you think that was to support the condo development? Probably. I think so. Yeah. Like that road, I was born and raised here. That road was always sinking in all the time anyway, so it needed to be done. But oh, yeah? I think with all the money they put in they've there. They've already had survey or surveyors yeah. uh, looking at the sinkholes and stuff. Oh, all right. So it's pretty much a done deal. So where would you like to have the um, the, the, uh, the new bottle depot? Right there. <laughs> right there. You know, there. I mean, that, that place has been empty for years. Well, that, that would be a good lot. They've got big pylons in there, it sinks, so they can't really build anything big in there. So why not put a bottle depot right there and just manage it better? Well, why not? That's what I think, you know. That's just my opinion. Yeah, who owns that property? Oh, I'm know? not sure. I'm oh. not sure. Probably some big developer. <laughs> <laughs> like everything else, that that would be that would be a good a logical conclusion. They probably won't though, because it's to build a new building. They'll probably look for like a existing building. They and uh, yeah. they're talking like the Rock Bay area. Oh yeah, it's a long way to haul stuff though, eh? Yeah, but for me, I just move out there. Well, for you, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, but you saying you live yeah, in the neighborhood. Yeah, I never up in there, so I mean, right. to me, so it's kind of handy. Either find somebody with a vehicle or. And I'm grabbing a car like my friend here does and right. pushing them all up. Yeah, yeah. You know, this, uh, you know, this buys our, like, unfortunately, we buy our cigarettes, but it buys us extra food and stuff like that. Sure. I'm on, I'm, I'm on sure. a disability pension, so I mean, this just gives me extra food, so, you know, when you hit the mustard seed or whatever, you can't get any more food, then you, this helps. I mean, I pay six sixty one a month. Wow. For my rent. And I get like 11.85 a month to live on, so that that's my rent, my bills, and that food. Right. So yeah, it goes. Left. It goes fast, and food. The cost yeah, of food's goes, going yeah, up. Yeah, for me, because I live outside, so yeah. it costs a lot more for food. Yeah. Yeah. I have to eat out, or else I don't like using the other facilities. Really? You try to be self-sustaining. Yeah. You know, all the hassles in some of those uh, places you go to. Is that right? Is. I mean, you're Rampy fighting, uh, you know, dr drinking and stuff. Like right. You know, I have yeah. no problem with whatever anybody does, but when I go to have a coffee or something to eat, I don't want yelling and screaming. Right, or, right. You know, yeah. And, and, well, it's nice to down. be able to participate in just the other parts of society yeah. other than just the food bank. But I mean, we're, we're lucky though. Most people that come by here, we don't get called down or something for what we do. They're actually, most people to come by and glad to see what you're doing. That's great. Well, it's, it's good work that you're doing. It keeps yeah. stuff out of the landfill. Well, and plus I do my bottle run, so if I see garbage by somebody's garbage can or something, like that, even though there's no bottles, I'll pick up that garbage for them and they get to know you, so they see you, they'll come up with the bottles. Sure, yeah. And, and do you get hassled by the CRD with the blue oh, bin? Oh, if you get caught, it's a $175 fine. And 
Yeah. And they're going to make you do community work service and oh, stuff like out. that. You know, they see this is the city's money. That's why a lot of people now are putting their bottles not in their blue things now. They're putting them on do the boulevard oh, because good. that way they, we don't get fun. How, how can we pay $175? Right. And yeah, I mean, we're not crazy. doing it because we're all drug addicts and alcoholics. We do it because it survives. It gives us closed food. Right, right. And they, I don't think it's the CRD that actually does well, it's, that. Uh, like it's Alan Moe was actually the one I think that brought in the law that uh, is against the law to go into the blue business. Now. But isn't it like the the collection is actually a separate company now? I think yes. right. Yes. You have isn't a CRD. It? When I go out there, they've stopped me and gave me a warning. So yeah, they get caught again. Yeah. And the police can stop you right now and dump out all your bottles if you got them in a cart or something like that too. Or That's what you. I've heard, and they'll yeah. take everything, right? Yeah. Not they'll just, take it all. Yeah. And make you dump out all your clothes or whatever too. Oh, is that right? You know, yeah. Which is stupid. I mean, yeah. these guys, people are trying to survive. Yeah, really. I know yeah. they don't make it very easy, do they? What do you think, um, Jason? Is that? About uh, Tent City. I think it's fine. I wouldn't go there myself. You wouldn't? No. You're real independent, eh? <laughs> All too right. Many things have in Tent City. Well, it depends, right? Well, yeah, but I mean, I see them over here and stuff like that, and you'll see fights going by, and, and you got a couple of really great people that are just trying to help everybody out. Right. They'll, they'll get like right. packs of sausages or wieners or stuff, so they'll try to feed everybody in that there, and then you get somebody that comes up. And, you know, it's they're all drunkers out and, and they start a household. So those few little individuals that make a household, well, ruin it for everybody else. Yeah. You it's know, a that good idea, but you'd have too much uh, druggies and stuff. There'd be other people there. Well, there are some that are very strict, right? And yeah. and they have a code of ethics and they have supervision. And so they really try to keep it, uh, you know, yeah, if clean. Yeah, if it was supervised, it'd be a good idea because at least I wouldn't have to haul around. Right, I mean it must be. Yeah, he holds that every day. That's amazing, you know. If you had a place where you could keep it and you know it'd be safe. But yeah. your concern is that you don't want to be in a place with drugs. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. All right. Wow. Anything else you want to say? I met him actually. I've lived here for like two and a half years, but I met him. I walk by here every day and just started yeah. talking to him. Yeah. This is my really social outlet too here. Yeah, right. Yeah, sure. this is, yeah, this is where everybody sort of meets him. Let's everybody know how they're doing and making sure you're okay or, you know. Right, right. Do you know about United We Can in Vancouver? Have you heard about that? No? Oh, I guess it's um, uh, some sort of a collaborative effort that um, uh, some of the local binners have got together and created this thing called United We Can, and it's like a social enterprise, and it's a gathering place, and... That's yeah. That, no, that is good. Yeah, that would be good, eh? I mean, uh, most of us, though, we try to help each other. Do you? Yeah, it's not do. a real competitive thing? Well, I mean, uh, there's probably a couple out there that just like in a normal job, you'd say, but most of us try to help each yeah. other. If I find something that's really good, uh, you know, that I, I don't need, I'm going to chase him. But right. vice versa, you know. So yeah. we, I think most of us try to help each other. Yeah, yeah. Good. All right. Well, thank you so much for what you're doing. I think okay, it's really fine. important.